my name is Ashley. Today, let's explore the integration piece of the HuFi community calendar. Let's jump into the background of integration. We heard from public libraries about the need to eliminate the task of duplicate entries of their programs on multiple different calendars. Libraries would add their events to the public facing website for promotion and advertising of their events. And then again, on their HuFi community calendar to receive reporting on programs and attendance. While both are important, we wanted to help streamline this process. To solve the issue, we have launched the ability to now have your HuFi community calendar on the library's live website for your patrons to interact with. This helps to simplify the process and eliminates tasks within staff to free up time for more big picture operations. In this video, we will cover how your patrons interact with your integrated calendar, how to integrate the calendar into the website with a real example, how to operate your new integration within the community calendar settings, how to customize your integration to match the branding of your website, and how to advertise your integrated events on your social media platforms. If you are interested in getting the HuFi community calendar integrated into your public facing website, please let us know. That way we can generate the iframe HTML tags that you will need to integrate. Please email us at support at hufi.com and we will begin that process and walk you through the steps to get integrated. This is an example of an integrated calendar. The patrons can view the events that are coming up at the library. They can find the event that they are most interested in, such as movie night for tomorrow. When they click on this event, they'll get a box with some brief information. If they'd like, they can choose more details and the events page will load. On this page, the patrons can see the pictures or flyers that you upload, any descriptions of the event that you'd like to provide, and any other details that you would like the patron to know about this event. This page is fully customizable. You can edit the colors of the header, the footer, and this featured events widget on the far right. You can add your library logo here at the top middle or at the top left. On this page, your patrons can click to search for events and they will see another view of all of the events that are taking place at your library. Using this banner over here on the left, your patrons are provided with lots of filters such as tags, category, audience, and date. Another integration feature is the ability to add attachments so that your patrons can download waivers or worksheets or any other documents that you would like to provide them ahead of time. Integrating the calendar into your website also makes you available to use the registration feature of the community calendar where your patrons can register for your events ahead of time. We cover this in a different tutorial video that I will link down below. Let's look at an example of how to integrate the calendar into your website. When you get logged into your hufi.com account. On the left hand side, under setup, we will select advanced. Near the bottom, under community calendar, we're going to select integration. Here, you will see a calendar iframe URL field. In this box, we're going to triple click to select all of the code and we will copy this code. On your website's editing platform, we're going to paste this code into a widget and we have found our best experience when it is saved as raw HTML. Once you add the code, it should work like magic and your calendar should appear on your website. Now the same thing will happen for the featured iframe widget that we saw earlier. You can copy and paste that code again as a second widget on your website, such as your homepage, to direct your patrons to the events that you are hosting at the library. Like magic. <laughs> now that your calendar is integrated into your website, let's take a look at some of the settings that are now available in your hufi.com account. When you are creating an event, you will see a third tab at the top called integrations. In this menu, you will see a checkmark box for public view. This allows you to control whether or not this event appears on your public facing website. If there was ever an event you did not want to advertise on your website, but you wanted it on your community calendar, you can just turn this setting off and it will not show on your calendar. Next, you will find a checkmark box for featured. Most libraries choose to feature all of their events. And if the event is considered 
considered featured, it will then show on that featured widget on your website. Here you can add any images or flyers, and here you can add attachments such as PDFs or documents. Here is the box for event description. You can describe the event to your patrons and use these editing tools to make it look however you would like. Under event details, there are some other settings that will affect your integration. You can organize the colors of your events as they appear on your website by assigning them to different categories. You've also got the option to assign an audience. We heard from libraries that these age groupings that are required for reporting are a little too rigid when it comes to advertising the event to your patrons. Libraries had asked for the ability to add their own custom audiences to be able to advertise to whichever audience this event was made for specifically. Some examples include parents with pets, grades 8 through 12, ages 15 to 18, or lovers of paintball. Here you've got the option for tags. Libraries had asked for ways to tag their events with different keywords so that patrons can search for them on their website and use them to find other events that they're interested in. You can add tags here and private tags here. Private tags will not show up on your website and libraries use private tags for internal reporting purposes. Let's take a look on how to edit the events page that we saw earlier. Under setup, I'm going to choose advanced. In this menu under community calendar, I'm going to choose calendar settings. In this menu, you'll see three different boxes. This is where you can add your mini logo, which will appear at the top left, or your logo, which will appear at the top middle. This website URL is where your patrons will be redirected to when they click on one of your logos. Over here on the right hand side, you can pick the different colors for your header, your footer, and that featured widget. Down here at the bottom are considered advanced page settings. Here you can choose the fonts that your events page will appear as. If you know the language CSS, you can use this box to type in that language and edit the events page in many other further ways. Hey, psst. Can I share with you a secret about what libraries are doing with this integration to share the events on their social media platforms? Come here, let me show you. So what they do is they come in here and they will find the event that they're looking for on their calendar and they will choose more details to open the full event page. And they'll come up here and they will copy this URL and they will paste it onto Facebook posts or Twitter posts. That way your patrons, when they're scrolling on their social media feeds, they see your links and they'll click on them and see all of the details about this event and everything that they need to know. And another really cool thing, if you have enabled registration for this event, they will see the form right down here at the bottom and register for it right then and there. So hopefully you find that helpful in advertising your events on your social media platforms. Thank you for spending time with me today to learn more about how to integrate your HooFi community calendar onto your patron-facing website and how integration can be beneficial for your library. Please let us know if you need any help or if you have any questions. You can email us at support at hoofi.com. We hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day. We hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to see more tutorial videos from Ashley, please check out our tutorial playlist on the right. If you'd like to see more videos from HooFi, please like and subscribe to this channel to receive notifications when we post new updates to the dashboard here. Thank you, and have a great day.